there's a lesson to be learned here in this exercise. Look at the progression. This is a bee. And note the dragon, the pig dragon that's been called. But is it really? Here's another very similar uh, uh, piece. Uh, it's very similar in construction to the bee, and yet the edges have been trimmed away to form what looks like that pig dragon. But is it really a pig dragon? Look at this. They're not, they're not dragons. And the clue is actually on the other side of the bee. These characters, if you look at them ever so carefully, Zhu Gong, Zhu Gong. Now, that's Mandarin. Zhu Gong. Zhu means enter, and Gong means with clasped hands. Why or what are you entering with clasped hands? This is a guide. A guide. Enter with clasped hands. So, here is um, the uh, Jew character is sometimes translated as scholar. Scholar with clasped hands. Then we begin to see at the terminal end of the uh, phase the morphing ever so slightly toward something that is now more like a pig dragon. So all these pieces were tested. Now this is the formal pig dragon. It's, that's referred to in the language, in the culture of Orient. These little pieces are called pig dragons, but they're not pig dragons. They are derivative of this very first character, Zhu. Zhu Gong. What are they entering into with clasped hands? That circle in uh, Oriental culture was uh, based on the legend of Pangu. Pangu the creator. The creator is also known as Shangdi. Shangdi in the universe. Enter the universe with clasped hands. This is instructions and a way of thinking so ancient, so ancient that it was lost eventually. These pig dragons aren't pig dragons. They're scholars. They're uh, guides. They're guides. Now you'll notice there's one piece here that's missing. The owl. The owl's off working. She's working. The giant owl. She is working. So eventually she'll come back when her, when her purpose is finished. But these bee were a guide to heaven. And these pig dragons morphed from the bee and were used, I barely feel, fairly convincingly proven. These bee were magnetic compasses. The energy to pull these compasses was thought to be magic, magic. And the Oriental people called it Chi, C H I, Chi. It's invisible energy that permeates everything. They were using this invisible energy to guide themselves across the Tekla Desert, the Gobi Desert, and the Russian Steppe. Massive, massive, huge, wasted land, no barren uh, landmarks or anything. This is a compilation and 
uh, of uh, pieces. Now I've arranged this not by sequential, not by sequential um, uh, style. No, I want you to look at something different. On the first B, look at the angle of the hole in the center on the edge on the outside. Now look at the angle here, ever so slightly deeper, a little more sophisticated. This is more sophisticated yet. The angles are a little more steep and it morphs generally from one end to the other until it gets to here. And finally here, those holes in there are machine cut. In this new piece, there's no patina at all. It's just a new piece. Yet it's still magnetically active. These old pieces, these holes are conically shaped. They're hand carved. So the patina, the angle of the hole, the style, everything all fits together in a nice neat progression from one end to the other. This oldest piece with the, uh, with the uh, uh, patina under microscopy measured, the angle of the hull, uh, the walls, the crude nature of the construction and this development. This piece is probably 10,000 years old. This one's somewhat uh, newer, 9,000 or so, on on to seven. This is a terminal end of the Hongshan culture. This piece here, terminal end. It saw the advent of Shang Dynasty. By the time the Shang Dynasty came along, a lot of the old mystery and navigational mechanisms were gone because by then the Silk Road was very fairly well documented and marked, demarcated on the ground even. There's quite extensive studies that show the, the course of the Silk Road in its various different locations through time. Thank you very much for looking at, at my experiments. This is a map not to someone's soul or to karma. It's a map across the landscape and through the sky. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.